Okay, so here we have the T-Rex skull, what I think it is, with his smiling grin, if that makes sense, I'm not pretty sure. Oh, I want a better camera so you can see, but let's try and... Starting to realise why this was from um, Poundland because it actually looked good for a sec. Just you can easily see why this was from Poundland. It's just okay. So it feels like it was easily breakable. Truthfully, you start to see the truth behind it. This is meant to be for children, and I do not know why. So I'm literally just going to dig in a bit and see if I can get a better... Okay, and... Okay. I'm just... I'm literally just going to use this little cutting tool. Can I get it on camera? As you see, it's a little bit rough. Just to dig in and try and then bend it. Okay, I'll be back when I've dug through this. I'm really sorry. I didn't want to have to resort to this. So much for fake hammers. Now let's try this. Yeah, so much for Poundland ties. This is probably the best looking one. Come on! Just freaking hell. Great. So, his tail or his head, I'm not sure, is stuck. Let me just... It's his tail. Okay, so as you see, we've got half out. Don't know how a dinosaur has fit into a other dinosaur's head. But, you know, who cares about logic? Okay. Okay, now let's actually try and use the actual tools. Yay! It worked for once. And now, one tool's going to come in handy. The brush tool. Oh, no. Still has a little bit of rubble in his tummy. Okay, so that is what you get. Um, it's actually pretty solid. If I tried to pull one of the legs off, I would be able to break it, but apart from that, the body is pretty solid. But this, let's watch this with a fake hammer they gave us. Now let's watch it with the chisel and the fake hammer. That's not the chisel. This thing is. Nothing. And then let's watch the brush try and work. Yeah, the brush is going to do nothing. And then let's watch the hammer. Oh yeah, the real hammer. Yeah. Okay, so for the final review, uh, in the first place, I think the best toy is probably this mythical man creature. I would give him a 6 out of 10. 
coming at second is the pony. Uh, mainly because I mean, the head coming off is pretty bad, but you could probably scare your sister with this, just like, oh, I bought you something, oh, hey, oh no, it's scary. Um, actually, no, that wouldn't be scary, but still, it comes in second place with a 3 out of 10. Coming in third place is the dinosaur architect thing Jing, I forgot what it was called. Um, pretty much the tools they give you that are these here a uh, little weird knife tool doesn't wait little knife tool doesn't work chisel doesn't work chisel with hammer it still doesn't work brush only thing that actually works, you can brush your thing off. Yay, that really helps. And in last place, merely because I didn't have any batteries, I might do a video, a, just a single video about this, mainly because I do want to see what it can do. But in last place is the fantastic fun phone, or whatever it's called. Um, well, you can chuck it at your friends and hurt them. That's all I can say. Now I'll give this a 0 out of 10, mainly because I couldn't get it working because I didn't have the batteries. And these batteries are quite weird ones that hardly anyone has. So they should have thought about the battery type before uh, publishing it. Yeah.